Hello there and welcome back to Bill and the Boys. We now have issue 98 of Hashet's Build the Titanic as we continue that march on towards issue 100. Um, we are building more hull. So the upper section, um, attaching to the, the lower section that we did in the last one, um, again, there's not loads to it. And there's Allen bolts. You know I love an Allen bolt. Ugh. Um, but it is what it is and it's always gorgeous to see this hull increase in size. Um... At the end of this one, we'll be talking about shenanigans are afoot at the Titanic wreck. Um, is it research or is it grave robbery? We'll talk about that at the end. Um, without further ado, let's get this one open uh, and let's take a look at our pieces. Let's get this one built. If you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps our channel massively. But without further ado, let's get this open. Let's get this done. Okay, so let's have a look at what comes in 98. Flip this one over. Uh, I've uh, got a lot of those. Allen oh, screws. Yeah. But I'm using this. So if you've got the free gift, I've been using this to screw these in. That's going to work on one side of it. On the next side, it's not, because we're not going to have the room to uh, to use it, unfortunately. Um, but let's take a look at this piece. And there we are. So there you go. All your portals are drilled out on that one. So you'll get some light out of this as well. It's looking nice. Look, you can see the curvature as well. Gorgeous. Right, so let's bring up a massive uh, hole now and uh, find a way to film this and get this installed. Okay, so this is where we're going. Uh, we're going to fold in. Yes, I'll show you what I mean by that. We're going to come behind this one here uh, and then we're going to go into there and hold that one in place. So this is how you should now be looking. That should be long there like so. And we are going to put in five, five Allen bolts. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to get those screwed in and we will take a look. So there we have all screwed in. We've put two in here and three along here. And it's looking lovely. Um, it also gives this some, uh, some firming up as well. Because if you can remember, this was just loose. Uh, because this is where the window section of the engine goes in. So this is now firmed up as well. That's lovely. Um... The next thing we'll be doing on the next two is we're putting this one and this one in. So these are going to be a little, until we get some keel in there, those are going to be a little, mm, but we'll, uh, we'll soldier on. Uh, it's looking lovely. I'm going to turn it around and hold it up so you can see exactly what this section now looks like. Really happy. There's, there's so little to do, but it's whole, man. And every time you do whole, it looks good. So there's a like, section of the hole there. And this is how we're now, God, if I can get this in. Can we get it all on camera? There we go. That's how we know why. This is looking, come on, this is ridiculously good. There we go. That's how our section's looking there. Let's put this one down. Oh my good God. Yeah, that's just a hernia inducer right there. Um, <laughs> uh, hole makes me happy, man. And I know from a lot of the messages I got from a lot of you, I know hole makes you happy as well. That's all for the build instructions. It's short and sweet, short and simple. Always is with hole, but hole's good. Um, if you're just sticking around the build instructions, thank you for stopping by. Please remember to like and subscribe. It helps us massively. If you're sticking around for our Titanic talk, well, shenanigans are up for... And yay, capitalism! Um, an organisation has decided that there's something they want. And it's all based on something that was initially a positive. Um, but I kind of knew what it was going to cause. And it's all based on this. So the ownership of the Titanic wreck is a bit of an unusual one. Um, Titanic Inc. owned the sole salvage rights to the Titanic. Um, and they have brought up over 5,000 artifacts from the seabed. I own one of them. I own a piece of coal that was brought up by them. And it was all seen as kind of fair game. Because it was, it was on the seabed. So a lot of what you see in museums and whatnot are things that weren't actually attached to the wreck. They were surrounding the wreck. No damage is made to the wreck. And these things were seen as fair game. So coal, definitely. Coal's all over the place. Coal's got a, a surface area about six square miles around the Titanic. Um, plates, uh, shoes, bags, things like that were all brought up. And it's like, they're, they're just there. They're not actually, you're not damaging the wreck to get them. Um, they did get have a lot of controversy of bringing up what's known as the big piece. Now, we've discussed the big piece before, which is a large piece of hull. It's the largest piece brought up from the Titanic. And... There was debate on whether or not they caused damage when they did it, whether or not it was actually, no one really knows for sure, but a lot of um, 
a lot of historians weren't particularly happy with the big piece being salvaged. As a result of that, um, an agreement was made between the US and the UK um, that Titanic was going to be viewed as a as, as a grave, as a resting place, and further um, damage to the um, the whole or breach in it wouldn't be acceptable um, because this is now seen as as a grave site. Um, well, we had those wonderful three D scans, uh, and as a result of that, we had uh, images that we we'd never seen before, where you can see things that they couldn't see before. So instead of sending the submersible down there, which has got limited time and costs a lot of money and coming back empty-handed, well, Titanic Inc. can now see exactly where these things are and they can go and get them. However, to get them would, revolve, would, would require breaching, um, which wouldn't be okay. So there's a couple things thereafter. One of them is very visible on the 3D scans and it is a chain, it's a necklace, like a chain with a megalodon tooth on it. Kind of looks like this. So why do they want that? Well, they can't sell it. They're not going to sell it. But this is a company um, that hosts exhibitions around the world. They have a, a fairly permanent exhibition in Las Vegas, where I believe the big piece currently is. Um, and tourists come to see it. However, if you've seen it, well, you've seen it. Now, there are people that would like to go and see it multiple times. But typically, I've seen it. I've been there. There's nothing new. I've seen it. Disney World... Build another roller coaster to attract more tourists. Man Two Swords just makes them all wax for its celebrities to attract more tourists. Titanic Inc. can't do that. They can't bring things up. They've nothing new to display. Therefore, they have no new flow of visitors. So there is definitely a motivation to do this. But what they really want to get their hands on is this. So that's the Marconi. Um, they want it because from the scans we can see that there appears to be, through deterioration, access to the Marconi room. Um, and they want the radio. That's what they want. Um, and they believe they can get a small submersible in there without causing any damage at all. They can get into the Marconi room. And they said they would only bring up the radio if it wasn't bolted to the wreck. So if it wasn't attached to the wreck, if it was loose, they would bring it up. If it's attached to the wreck, to move it would be caused to cause damage. And they wouldn't do it. Um, it's got to be attached, hasn't it? I mean, Christ, you'd think that thing's attached to the wall or it's attached to the table or, or whatever. You, I, I can't see that thing was just free to slide around because when Titanic started to list the way it did, surely that thing would have moved and they were sending out SOS and CQDs right to the bitter end. So that thing must have been pretty secure. Um, but that's what they want. That's what they want to get their hands on. And this is the problem. So as wonderful as those images were, it now shows, here's the good stuff, come get it. And the dinner bell's been rang. So they are trying to block it. Now, they did say uh, that they, they filed to do this before the Ocean Gate tragedy. They filed a few days before they filed to do this. And actually, the pilot of um, the Ocean Gate submersible that, that sadly died um, was going to be part of this expedition to go down there um, and get these, uh, get these, part, get these, uh, these items. Um, they then cancelled um, and said, you know, it's too soon after this, we can't do it. So originally this was going to happen in, I believe, October of last year. Um, it was cancelled, but they are still pushing ahead. However, that is now trying to be blocked. So we've got a legal battle happening, and the result of that is going to be found in May of this year. So it's something that's worth um, worth checking the news for. So in May of this year, there's going to be a legal battle on whether or not they can or cannot go and get the Marconi. Now... As a fan of the Titanic, I can definitely see the appeal of being able to see the Marconi, being able to go in and see it. There it is. That's the one. I can definitely see that. But at the same time, it would be selfish on my part to want to see that because I think ultimately it is a grave site. And I don't think I don't think we should be violating it that way. I just don't. Um, it's lost to the depths and it should stay where it is. Um, but who knows? Who knows? I mean, money talks, right? So they might win. But we'll find out, won't we, in May? But that is the story of the shenanigans that are currently happening around the wreck of the Titanic. Um, let me know how you feel about that. I'd be interested to know how you feel. Do you think it's fair game that we should be able to see these things? And if it's done respectfully, um, they should be able to bring these things up. Or do you think it should all just be left alone, left exactly where it is? Um, or have you got an all, another idea? 
let me know. I'd love to hear. Um, you can contact us, buildingboysoutlet.com. You can drop it in the comments down below. Um, that's all for this one. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe in the world where you can be anything at all. Just be nice. And I'll see you very, very soon for issue 99 of How Shirts Build the Titanic. Take care, and I'll see you then. Thank you.